Welcome to Bishop Brute Days. Bishop Brute Days is a three day retreat for young men in high school who are seeking to grow closer to Christ and who may be open to the possibility of a vocation to the priesthood. Here at the retreat, the participants spend their time at the seminary to learn about the priesthood, prayer, and many things about the Catholic faith. This year's theme is Saint Joseph. I remember when they whisper us in the loge when he became a bishop, they entitled the host Up Kama Chuck. We began today by dividing into our small groups and meeting with the people in our groups. Each group has two seminarians with us. Um, we listened to three talks today by the seminarians, and each one was about the quality of St. Joseph. One of them was on Joseph Most Just, and another on Joseph Most Chaste, and also Joseph Most Prudent. After each one of the talks, we divided into this, our small groups and discussed for about 10 to 15 minutes about the talk and um, had two questions that showed how we could think about those talks into our daily lives. We also prayed the Divine Mercy Chaplet outside next to the statue of Our Lady and ate dinner together. And next we're going to go to Marion University and pray the rosary and then finish our first day with a holy hour back at Simon Brutus Seminary. I'm looking forward to the next two days of the retreat and getting to know the seminarians better and learning more about the priesthood. We started our morning heading to Franciscan Hospital to talk to Father Plaster, the chaplain, um, and he talked about kind of what he goes through um, in his life as a chaplain at a hospital and what um, he deals with helping patients and um, giving them last rites. And it was an interesting talk and um, the few stories that were brought up, like um, last second conversion stories, um, it was very interesting and insightful. And then after that, we headed to um, Shelbyville for St. Joseph's and we got to talk to the diocesan um, exorcists and hear how we should focus more on um, God's power than the theatrics of Satan. And it's um, quite important that we focus and fixate our eyes onto God and His power um, and His glory. And then after that, um, we had the, um, the gift to um, go to Mass and celebrate the Eucharist. And then after that, we went out to eat. We had a fun time. Um, at a parishioner's house and they grilled out for us and it was um, a blessing to have them. After that we went to um, St. Michael's in um, Indy and we got to talk to Monsignor Sheetal about um, the first professional adoration chapel in um, the Archdiocese of Indianapolis and it was nice being able to uh, realize what a blessing it is to be able to have constant adoration and be able to um, adore our Lord in um, a chapel all the time. And then um, we'll wrap up our day by doing evening prayer and night prayer, having some games and um, eating dinner. This is the second day, so I've been able to spend about a day and a half with some of these guys, some that I've already met, some that I haven't um, in the past. So it'd be exciting to be able to um, hang out with them more, get a little closer, um, continue to um, strengthen our uh, bonds with Christ and be able to grow in our faith and um, dig deep in that devotion and try and figure out what our vocation is and obviously have fun, you know, play our games and all that.
began this day, played multiple games, and then we listened to some St. Joseph talks, and then we went to adoration. We had mass, and we played a few more games, and then we came back to the courtyard and had dinner with our families, and we played a few more games after that. The time was so inspiring. I got to meet so many seminarians, and um, the talks of St. Joseph were incredible. I loved how we all got together. It was like a brotherhood. All of us um, intertwining, getting into the teams, um, playing capture, capture the flag, cornhole, all those other games. It was such an uh, amazing experience. That's a wrap. One word that describes fruit today. Inspirational. Epic. Exciting. Awesome.